Let's say you want to put sound in a room. You can't put anything on the floors and you can't put it on the wall. Where do you go from there? Up in the ceiling. That's what we were faced with in our new space. We wanted to get sound in this room, but we couldn't really take up any floor space and the walls are all windows. So we put in in-ceiling speakers. And we're going to show you how we did it so that you can do it at home yourself. We built this gorgeous kitchen and dining room space but it's filled with glass and concrete. That's kind of an acoustic challenge. So rather than put a bunch of speakers in here that's just gonna make a wash of sound, we decided to go with two well-placed in-ceiling speakers. Step one is to get your wiring in place. Now you can either do that yourself, but that's another do-it-yourself video, or you can call a low voltage installer like we did. They put the wires in place and terminated them at the wall with this really gorgeous wall outlet with banana terminals. Now let's talk tools. You're gonna need a stud finder, pencil, tape measure, drywall saw, screwdriver or power driver, and a wire hanger. Next, you'll need some speakers. We went with the Golden Ear HTR 7000, easily one of the best sounding in ceiling speakers we've heard. They go for about $500 each. They've got a seven inch driver, this high velocity folded ribbon tweeter. You'll notice that driver is actually aimed out into the room. That's a big part of why it sounds so good. These ripples here are diffraction control, so it actually controls how the sound is dispersed in the room. And that's why we're able to get a really big, well-centered sound out of an in-ceiling speaker. On the business end, we've got these automatic self-locking dog ears. You just turn a screw, they pop into place and clamp against the drywall. Then there's these heavy-duty gold-plated spring clip terminals for your speaker wires. And then out of the box, besides the speaker itself, you're gonna find a cardboard cutting template along with a really snappy magnetic speaker grill that virtually disappears when you put it on the speaker. Now, when it comes to speaker placement, it's all about symmetry and geometry. If you're putting speakers in the front of the room, you wanna orient them around your display or your projector. And you want the speakers to be about as far apart from each other as you are going to be from them. And of course, if you're putting a center channel in, locate it in the center. For surround speakers, you wanna go just behind the listening position and just outside of the listening position. Now for our installation, we're just using two speakers, but we've got a really deep room to consider and a really wide projection screen. So we placed our speakers equidistant from each edge of the projection screen and about as far apart from each other as the center of the room. That way, almost everybody in the room gets a really good sense of the presentation. Now that you have a general idea where your speakers are gonna go, it's time to figure out exactly where you're gonna cut your holes. Start with a stud finder and figure out where the ceiling joists are. This way you can use your template to figure out approximately where you're going to place your speaker. Remember, those dog ears come out beyond the frame of the speaker a little bit, so take that into account. Now here's a fun little trick that'll help make sure you don't run into any surprises. Grab yourself an old wire hanger, unwind it, and then fashion it into a 90 degree angle so that this piece is about the radius of your speaker. Now poke it up through the center of the hole and sweep it around to make sure that you're not running into anything. If you're clear, you're good to go. Now let's cut our hole. Grab your drywall saw, line it up with the outer edge of your circle and push it up into the drywall. Then start making your cut around the line. Remember, you can always take away, but you can't add anything back. Now that we've cut our hole out, let's test and make sure that the speaker fits up into the location well. If it's a little tight, you might want to just shave a little extra drywall off. A little extra space is not the end of the world. Once the speaker fits well, let's attach the speaker wire. Make sure you get your polarity right. You want the positive lead going to the red terminal and the negative lead going to the black terminal. Now we're ready to put the speaker in, but if you have a speaker like ours that's somewhat directional, let's think about how you're going to aim the speaker. Think about towing the speaker in so that it's aimed towards the center of the room like we have here. With the speaker in place, all you've got to do is turn the screws. We're using a drill to make the process a little bit faster, but a screwdriver will do just fine. Be careful not to over tighten though. You don't want to bend the frame of the speaker. The last step is to put your grill on. Now, a lot of grills are paintable, so make sure you take care of that ahead of time. If you've got a magnetic grill like ours, it just pops into place. That's it, your speakers are in. You just wanna wire them up to your AV receiver or stereo amplifier and start enjoying the music. If you wanna know more about how to set up your speaker system, come back to Digital Trends for more how-to installation videos.